Genshin Impact has some beautiful water shaders, which probably took them years to develop. So let's make it an Unreal Engine 5 in three minutes, because I have an announcement at the end of the video that I'm really excited to talk about. When creating your project, make sure to have starter content enabled. We're gonna be using one of the water normal maps later on. So let's add the single layer water node to our material graph, set our blending to opaque, and change the shading mode to single layer water. Most water in Genshin Impact has a light blue or greenish tinge, but to make that color, we can't just make the base color blue and call it a day. And there's a reason for that. In real life, water is blue because water molecules absorb red light and reflect blue and green light back into our eyeballs. Water in modern video games adheres to the same concept. So instead of using the color blue, we can take a reddish orange and plug it into the absorption coefficient of our single layer water node. This tells our shader to absorb only red light, and now we've got blue water, pretty cool. After that, we can add a multiply parameter to the node to control the opacity level. The higher the number, the more light gets absorbed into the water and the murkier it looks. The water in Genshin Impact has rippling waves on the surface. While this may seem complicated, this effect is easily achieved by taking two normal maps and scrolling them in different directions to create fake micro ripples. Using the water normal map from the starter content, take two texture nodes, add the normal maps, and scroll them slowly in the U and V separately, that's up and down, and blend them using the blend normal angles mode. If you want to control the strength of the waves, you can add these nodes, where 0 removes all waves and 1 makes very strong waves. Remember, lerp nodes use a 0 to 1 scale. In Genshin Impact, objects under the water's surface seem distorted and wobble with movement, just like you would see in real life. This distortion effect is called refraction. Light travels at different speeds through mediums like glass, air, and water. This change in speed causes the light ray to bend, which causes the distortion you see when looking through the water's surface. This refraction effect can be seen all over video games, not just water, like heat waves coming off of a fire or a jet engine, or even the shock wave of an explosion. You can do many cool things with refraction, but for this video, I wanna keep things simple. Let's add a single variable and plug it into the refraction input. Values higher than one will increase the intensity of the refraction. I found that a value of 1.02 works really well for me, but I recommend experimenting with slightly higher and lower values to get the look that you want. It's also worth noting that any normals used on the water's surface will influence the level of refraction. So what really sells the look is when you pan the normals like we've done earlier. This gives us an authentic wobbling refraction that you see in open water or in Genshin Impact. And that's how easy it is. You now have a flexible water shader you can use for all of your future projects. Water, boom. Done. I wasn't able to fit everything I wanted into this video because the YouTube algorithm demands I edit these videos like you all have ADHD. So I've decided to do two things. One, I've released a longer version of this tutorial on my Patreon where I hold your hand through the entire water creation process, explain each step in more detail and show lots of tips and tricks that didn't make it into the video. And two, since I'm working on more bonus tutorials and projects that don't really fit on YouTube, I decided to revamp my Patreon completely and remove my expensive 10, 25, and $50 tiers. You can now access all of my past, present, and future work for $5. I want this to be a no-brainer for people who are more serious about learning game art, so hopefully this way is a little more reasonable for you. So if you wanna get my bonus tutorials, projects, and downloads, or if you just wanna support the channel and get a Discord title, you can do so in one easy and much cheaper tier. So yeah, water is pretty cool.